My name is Oluwashaya Anyola, and I'm a student of Sheffield Hallam University, and this is my lecturer, Jake. So I'm Dr. Jake Habgood. I'm the course leader for the MSc in Game Software Development and the studio manager for the Steel Minions Game Studio. So you came to this course with some previous programming experience? In, um, in Kulia, um, uh, I worked as a game developer, as their game programmer, and yeah, we did some web based games and mobile games. And you'd used Java before, but C++ as a programming language is often thought as a lot harder. How did you find that? First of all, it is a lot harder once you have that background of Java, because Java does a lot of things for you on the ground that C++ yeah, doesn't. It's much harder, but if you have a wrap around it, it's much easier to learn other languages. Obviously, we're very lucky to have the largest PlayStation teaching facilities in the world here, and you've you know, been working on some of these. What, what have you enjoyed most about working on that? The experience, first of all. It's a joy to actually work on outnumbered the game, but also the fact that you, know, you have a lot of dev kits here, and basically you can just pop in and you know, work on, on the game at, at any time you want. The experience in becoming a better person and becoming a better programmer at, on working on a, on a PS4 game and getting that knowledge of the PS4 and how it works basically and how the engine works and how everything is incorporated exactly. So obviously we have really great facilities here at Sheffield Hallam in terms of the PlayStation development kits but we also have a really great relationship with the games industry. A local company called Sumo Digital take on a lot of our students after they graduate. They work on games like the Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing franchise um, the Crackdown games and the Little Big Planet uh, franchise as well. Yeah, so definitely, like you said, um, their links and their associations with the players in the industry has helped so much. Um, so there's this um, annual event that they have, it's the Game Jam. It's where um, the lecturers and professionals in the industry also come and they review the games the students have made and they rate them and they give them feedback and that has helped the students to improve and given them an edge in the industry also. I like the website. Um, I was impressed by the website. I found a lot of information on the website. It gave me a lot of confidence to know exactly what I was looking for, knew exactly what I was expecting. And then the fact that, yes, there was um, PS4 dev kits at the time where PS4s were just being released. And also, when I found out there was actually a game studio, a licensed game studio in Sheffield Hallam University, that was when, you know, almost everything just came together. You came at exactly the right time. We were the first, uh, one of the first universities in the world to get access to this kit. Exactly. And uh, it's Largest. been really great to be able to work on it this year. For me, one of the things I've really enjoyed is to be able to take you guys out and meet some of the people I used to work with in the games industry. Uh, and how have you felt about that? Well, that was cool. Um, like you said, there was a legend, the creator of Zool. Um, I did meet him and a few other people. A lot of them had games they were working on, they talked about the games they were working on and yes, you could also give them feedback on some of the games that they had. Yeah, it was nice. Um, we had a few laughs, we played board games and yeah, we really enjoyed ourselves.